work well with my management. I can discuss any problem I have um, in the classroom, at school, and they will assist me. They even provide me with uh, mentorship when it comes to my subject. We cannot only say that it is the job of the teacher to improve the results, it's also the job of the learners, of the community at large. The challenges that we have at school, I think we have it at any school. In Namibia, the efforts to ensure access to quality education for all children remains high on the government's agenda. Hence, a substantial budget is allocated for school infrastructures and human resources to ensure the successful implementation of the Education Act 16 of 2001 at both national and regional levels. The heart of regional leadership and management is working around the clock to ensure an organized, planned and working education system which is beneficial to the learners and teachers. Consequently, the Directorate of Education identified gaps in the management and leadership style at schools as one of the aspects which requires continuous improvement. When this challenge is resolved, the region is anticipated to progressively accelerate its pursuit to reach its targets and the long-term objective of the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture. The Directorate of Education in Hartab region administers three education circuits, namely Nwano, Ano, and No Kloof circuit, which comprise of 10 secondary schools and 45 primary schools. The overall performance and learning outcomes of most schools in the region has not been satisfactory over the past years. However, there are few schools which have an exemplary pass rate. This is attributed to the conducive school environment, suitable teaching method, effective management, and appropriate leadership style, which mainly influence the best learning outcomes. Currently, with the management course that we have, and with the assistance of the school board, I think we are managing the activities of the school. The school is up and running. There are also successes and challenges. Some of the challenges we faced here at school is some learners don't get the full potential in, in providing, providing basic knowledge in school work. Like some parents are not, are not basically like in, in the act of work, the, um, the curriculum. In every sense they are helpful, we have materials, the classrooms are enough for the learners, at least we are divided into two groups but it's enough we are managing. Many schools in Hardap region are struggling to meet the required national education standards due to challenges such as ineffective management of schools, shortage of qualified staff, absenteeism, indiscipline, and factors which impact on the ability of learners and students to attend school, concentrate in class, and produce good results. Understanding of education regulations schools management dynamics and implementation of functional structures as well as an innovative and firm leadership are imperative for each school to improve their learning outcome and fulfill their mission and vision. Rebot High School is, was established in I think 1977 and at the moment we have 1135 students at our school with a staff complement of about 43 um, teachers. We face many challenges at the school. Our results are really poor at the moment. Teachers are really compassionate in terms of their learners and even teachers tend to help students if they see there is a need. The majority of the children that we have, they come from the background where they do not even have parents at home. Child-headed homes. A child who is coming out of a house, uh, staying there maybe with other smaller siblings, you know, looking kids that are looking after themselves. The school is nice, we are disciplined, the teachers are also fine, and no beating. I don't think, think that we are that disciplined. Discipline is not good at reposite. Smoking, selling drugs at school. The main problem is that the school is accepting rejects from other schools like, for example, Dr. Lema and M&K and 4 Now rejects are 
they are being suspended from the other school because they are problem. This is my school. I do all observations all over the school environment and stuff like that. And it came under my attention that you're also one of the like you fall under the contact the category of people that do the smoking process, if I can be honest with you. Don't you? You do right? Yeah. Now for me as your head girl and I feel like you know, you guys, your smoking process has been too much. And to be honest, you're really giving us tough time as LSEs because you'll be outside on the stoops or probably at the background of the school and we have to be called out. Can you guys check who are those kids standing there or we have to bring order? And that is really disturbing. Like for us, we cannot be in classes due to you guys' behavior. And do you think that is good for your own academic work? Uh, yes, I can tell you. Most of them are smoking at the school. Some of us are smoking at the school. Yeah. If I can tell. You. What do you plan to do just for you to stop this whole thing? Just being alone. I gotta stop hanging with my friends. The ones who are smoking. Stay at home. Do my thing. Start it. The acting principal at Reobold High School attributes the problems at the school to a lack of parental involvement in discipline, inexperienced teachers, and the perpetual changes in the management structure. There's a number of uh, reasons why, for example, we have inexperienced teachers, um, even the changing of management over time, because at the moment we have about three acting head of departments, and obviously in about a month's time or two months' time, these acting head of departments will have to obviously be replaced after their six months. So all the time we seem to have um, different leadership styles and things tend to change every time because obviously when a new person comes in, into, into a leadership position, things change and expectations also change also in terms of what the teachers um, need. Um, but I think we're really overwhelmed with all the, the social problems we have at the school. Maybe, I don't know, uh, the government can maybe intervene and be able to find out those areas the, where the kids are coming from, where they do not have parents, so that these kids maybe can be put in a certain hostel. Some schools in Haldab region are facing similar challenges cited at Reobot High School and need to advance by establishing an effective disciplinary committee which focuses on student behavioral change. The schools also need to recruit a permanent management team led by a strategic leader and innovative heads of departments in order to make informed decisions which will elevate the learning outcome and overall school performance. The management is the head of department and the principal myself. Uh, the head of department is now responsible for all the other departments because we are only two. And then we have also the life skills teacher that we currently have um, also made part of the school management. The school can further improve by ensuring support for the teacher-learner interaction and parents' involvement in the decision-making process, which has a direct bearing on students' performance and to transform below average results into excellent overall school results. Dr. Lema High School in Reoboth is the best performing school in Hartab region and it serves as the benchmark for schools in the region when it comes to management and leadership elegance. The school has a consistent management team comprising of a competent principal, innovative heads of department, qualified teachers and a proactive school board. Their capabilities create a perfect setting for teachers and leaders to excel. Regular meetings to discuss challenges and planning for lessons is highly prioritized by management in addition to applicable rules aimed at instilling discipline among learners who do not comply. The Student Representative Council is also instrumental in facilitating the student-teacher-parent relationship and ensuring that the training environment is favorable. As an SRC, my performance also counts. So, so I can stand there as an example for the for my fellow students. Like they can look up to me. If my performance in school is good, 
that can also be like an extrinsic method of motivation and like inspire them to also work hard. Our parents are very involved in our learners' education. Like they will always strive to give our, our learners the best tools so that they can come succeed at school. And the same goes for our teachers. We don't have the same intelligence. Therefore, they provide it after school classes. Even after lessons, they ask, do you understand? They provide tests to, to test our knowledge on the specific topic that we've done. The school management provides for us basic learning, so it's actually really good. I think the management should incorporate a more, a more better con connection with the teacher and with the learner. Because some learners do not perform well in academics, they perform better when things are pra more practical. Quality assurance in the learning process is tiered and guaranteed foremost by the management of the school. Therefore, it is crucial for schools to have experienced principals and heads of departments to oversee that the teaching material are efficient and that teachers prepare their lessons timely and comprehensively. The teaching approach should also be aligned with the needs of each learner so that below average learners can be accorded an opportunity for extra lessons on topics or subjects they do not understand. Learners come with disciplinary issues, learners come with uh, U's and G's. However, after they come in contact with a certain period and getting used to our teaching style, then I, the results are changing, the learners are also changing. So it is the last that the learners are receiving from other teachers, knowing that they are sitting in their class for a reason, and this teacher appreciates, and this teacher knows that there is something in them that they can harvest from. So I think there is a secret with us. The type of fertilization, the four types. Do you remember them? So I'm going to ask you a question. Eh? Talent management also warrants that competent teachers are recruited, sustained, and mentored to continue producing exceptional results. At Osset, we are close knit family. We, like the two teachers there that you see there, they are assigned head of departments to assist the school. That is the kind of leaders we are because we would like to coach and train them for their one day when they become managers. And these things they are doing without any remuneration but for the love of, of teaching. That is one what we do at Osset. That is empowering staff members. We are known for producing results and I think the only school that is challenging some schools like Dr. Lema in, in the Hatha region. My leadership style is I am an instructional leader. Not forgetting that I'm a teacher before I'm a principal. For that I mean I have the following things that I do. I make sure that the school's administration is run effectively by delegating, but not only delegating, but making sure what I've delegated is understood. I am also a mentor and a coach for the teachers. Because as, 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 as a teacher, it does not mean you become a teacher because you are perfect and you are able and competent to do most of the things. But it is because you have this vision of helping the next person. But you as a teacher, you also need to be helped. So what I do is I assist my colleagues, I help them, I explain the lesson preparations and how certain things must be done regarding the smooth and effective um, um, running of the school as well as performance of the learners. What we do different at our school, first of all, we, we have peer marking, we have peer teaching, and then we have CB, CBD uh, training. With what I mean when I'm talking about uh, peer teaching, all teachers that, teaches or that, that teach the same subjects at our school, they teach the, uh, the dif uh, different grades. For example, if we have three English teachers at our school, and then they are all required to teach the other grades even if they are not uh, they are not appearing on their timetable and then the other thing is peer marking overall when we are setting our examinations they are moderated to make sure that the quality does not suffer and then before moderation then it's when it's handed in for for coping and that that's when the learners will write we also evaluate the teachers the performances by visiting their classes and after the visiting we sit with them and then we give them the report 
proper report for them to see their weak points and then their strong points and then to improve on their weaknesses. To make sure that the school function and that the learning is continuing, we, we practice proper planning prevents poor performance and by that we look at our planning and we try to plan in advance so that we just follow up then we organize our teaching staff in and also our support staff in helping us to to attain what we have planned then whilst we are implementing we we check and see we monitor we evaluate and see if we need a contingency plan if something is not going well we we try to look at what we can do to to redirect our efforts we cannot only say that it is the job of the teacher to improve the results it's also the job of the learners of the community at large so that we can improve the results Artistry, agility and strategic leaders should guarantee that the management is on hand to anticipate challenges, articulate regulations and align the learning process to changes in the learning environment. This will also empower the management team to plan ahead for future challenges and ensure quality in education by applying informed models using relevant educational tools. The management can ultimately be ready to successfully articulate and implement school regulations such as the recently gazetted Basic Education Act No. 3 of 2020. New Basic Education Act 2020 uh, regulates that a learner should not be refused admission to school uh, without, uh, because of the reason that there is no birth certificate. But other documents like baptism card, creation by the parents, uh, uh, creation from the Honorable Councillor's office, or uh, a letter from the headman can be accepted to register a learner to start schooling. It is also making it very clear that now that the children under the age of, or between the age of 6 to, to 18, they, they must be in school, it's compulsory for them. So as a, as a region, we know very well we have a high number of the students out there is out of school youth. So we're going to run a campaign uh, together with our principals and our lawmakers, the political leadership, the religious leadership and, and all the stakeholders so that we can combine efforts to bring back all these children to, to school uh, and so that we can prepare them for a bright future out there. We learn that test the for COVID. And as we all know, the place needs to be cleaned. The COVID-19 pandemic also created a new normal for the schools and the management had to make required adjustments to comply with the regulations and directives of the national and regional leadership. With COVID, we can see um, learners are getting sick and learners not attending the class, even teachers getting sick and teachers not attending the class. Um, management is really trying to to keep the people positive, even the students, even the learners, sorry, the, the teachers at the school, they are trying to keep them positive. We have terrain duty. Every morning a number of teachers will be at the entrance of the school where we screen each morning, we screen the learners and the teachers that are coming in. If we notice that the learner is having, a, for example, a high temperature, then immediately we send them back and we call the parents. Um, another thing is how our class are set up. We made sure that we have enough space around each learner and the distance between the learner and the teachers as well. Um, when it comes to the people that are on terrain duty, during break time, they are also on duty meaning that they are also on, 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 on parole when they are checking around to make sure that there's the social distancing between the learners and also that the learners are wearing their masks. Anything other than that will just be for the things that we receive from the ministry through the circulars that we just try to maintain. After testing of the learners, I think within this week, 
a lot of results that came out was positive. And then talking of 110 positive cases within the school hostel. And then we have also five from outside. But in this year, four from outside. And one case, positive case, is of one of our teachers. So that prompted us to, to write a letter to the to the prompted me to write a letter to my supervisor, the inspector, to inform him about the situation at the school. And my request was we must close the school down because of this lot of cases while the health ministry is attending to this. And without waste of time, my director, uh, no, my inspector, informed me through the director. And as I'm sitting here, I'm having a letter of the director of approval to close the school off. The implementation of a successful management style and firm leadership is essential for schools to produce excellent results and enable learners to pursue further studies and lead the future through education. In order to take over the power to this point, that's right. So it's the power. Yes, it's correct.